All right, today we sitting down with my man, Derek, the comedian, Derek Lamont. What's good with you? What's good, fam? What's good, my man, Rich Nice? Had to get you on here, I man. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, bro. I see, I see how busy it. you is on the, on, the, on the comic circuit. Oh, man, you know. Out here trying to make it happen, bro. Right. Uh, trying. Well, let me let me take that trying out. I'm trying to take trying out my vocabulary. Fact. You know what I mean? Because we fact. say, oh, I'm trying to do not. I'm out here making it happen. You know That's what putting I mean? doubt in it. Yeah, yeah, That's exactly. Putting doubt in it. So I gotta I, I gotta train myself. Like every time I say I'm trying, uh, let me stop that. There's no trying. I'm doing that shit. Mm hmm Let me ask you, how long you been doing uh, comedy and what got you started? Oh man, that's I've been doing stand up. It'd be going on four years on my, on my birthday. I went up for the first time on my 47th birthday. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But uh, it's been in me, man. You know, it's forever. You know what I mean? There's always something I wanted to do. I just didn't have the confidence to go up there and do it. You know what I mean? Like, I used to work at the Improv. Oh, did I you? Used, yeah. I worked at the Improv like all year while I was in high school, like five, six years. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? And their open mics was every Monday. Right. And I used to tell myself every Monday... I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do it this time. I'm gonna do it this time. Building that just, courage. Yeah, yeah, but I just didn't have the confidence to to do it. You know what I mean? And, and then life happened. You get kids and married and all not. Right. So right. you know, and my second, you know, now it's like at the point like, man, I, it's something. It's an itch that I just had to scratch. You know what I mean? So I just went through the process of putting myself in in the right situation so mm -hmm. I can go ahead and do it. And it's, it's wild now. It's like, damn, I, I, it was that simple. But it's like I, I just couldn't, you know, g getting up in front of a bunch of people, man. That take courage. Yeah, like I, I, back in high school, I didn't even want to speak in front of the class. You know what I mean? Right, right. I had to kind of like, I used to say re at reinvent myself. But it was more like I had to excavate myself. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, you know, when you do an excavation, mm -hmm. it's like you dig up what was already there. You know what I mean? Right, that shit right. was there. I just had to dig it up. You know what I mean? So that's one of the things. But it, yeah, you know, comedy, we always, you know how clowning, just in the hood, you know what I mean? In the hood when it's, when you're poor, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you don't laugh and it's like when we did. Therapy. You know? Yeah, exactly. So it was just one of the things where, you know, now I'm at the point where like, okay, I'm just going to do it. You know what I mean? So on my birthday when I turned 47, I just went up at the funny stop. At the funny stuff yep, up in Akron? Yep, that was my first time going up. I went up there and it was on after that. How did how did you do your first time? They had a contest up there and I placed. Oh, for real? Yeah, like, you know, and I didn't even know it. I just, was, you know, it's like, okay. One, one, it was funny because once I started really, first it was the podcast. We had a podcast. I had to build myself up to do that. Right. But in the back of my mind, I'm always like, man, comedy was always next. So then my brother said, hey, man, because he used to do it back in the day. He was like, man, I've been thinking about doing comedy. And I was like, man, me too. I, it's really been on my mind. And he mm. told me they got an open mic at the Funny Stop Wednesday because I didn't know where to go. Right. So once that was, I was like, okay, so Wednesday, we went to Wednesday before that, but I didn't get there in time. I, you got to call and sign up. So it just so happened the next Wednesday was my birthday. So I was like, I'll just do it then. You know what I mean? And I was fun. I mean, I was funny, man, but it was like, you get five minutes. And I practiced, like, had to stop, watch out. And I practiced in five minutes, like, you know, okay, I got five minutes. And when I did it, it was like, did my whole set. It's two minutes, 30 seconds. <laughs> I still got two minutes left. I, I didn't know what to say or nothing. But, you know, it's like after that, though, it was it was on, like, after that, man. Once once I went up there and did it, mm -hmm. and it's still surreal. Like, my mom be like, I can't believe you going up there and doing cop. I said, I can't believe it sometimes either, Bob, but... Yeah, it take a lot of courage to, to get on stage and talk about look yeah, at me, man. I'm yeah, gonna make yeah. you laugh. It's, it, it, it really does. You got it. Really, it really is, man. It's like, you know, you gotta really, you know. And there's no backup dancers. There's no <laughs> DJ. You know what I mean? Right. It, it's it's you. just you. You know. So yeah, you really gotta be. You know, it's something to do, man. But once you do it, and you know, ain't no better feeling. Mm. When you get up there and you get somebody to laugh, you know what I mean? It's right. Like, wow, that's that's dope. Right. You know. I used to. Uh, I had a roommate. He was a comedian. His name Jay Murray. He, he from Cincinnati. Mm-hmm. And it was the worst and best experience of my life because he had no turn off switch. You know what I'm saying? And he was a 
comedian every day, all right, day. Right, right, right. That's the thing too, you know, because you know my my, my wife would get on. She, I get on her nerves too, because she's like, everything gotta be funny. <laughs> <laughs> but it's hard, to, you know. It's just how it's how we grew up, you know. Right, what I mean? right. Like you know, it was times when I remember being in the hospital. Like that's just how we deal with trauma. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It didn't matter what was going on. We was gonna find something funny in it, you know right, what I mean? Right. So it's just so yeah. Sometimes it's hard to turn it off. And he told me one time he said, "Comedians don't get better until they have bad shows." That's mm -hmm. true. Yeah, What's that's when you know it's for you. Mm. When you go up there and nobody's laughing, right? And you <laughs> <laughs> and you go up there, ain't nobody laughing, and you come down and you go up, you know it's for you. Mm. Like that's the when you know when you don't you know, let it discourage you. Right, right. You let it motivate. It can break like that. Will break people. I've seen it. I've seen it with my own two eyes. Like you go up there and nobody's laughing. It's like crickets. And sometimes it's, it's just the venue. Sometimes people just not paying attention. It happens to everybody. I've seen it happen to good nationwide comedians that you know it's just a bad venue. People ain't paying attention. They got the TV on. You know what I mean? People you conversate. Know, yeah, they conversate some money self. You know what I mean? So it can be hard. And when you do that, and then you still got the nerve balls to go back after that, then you know it's for you. Right. Now, is it a big is it a big difference between a white crowd and a black crowd? Like, do you got different sets? I do. I do. I do. Um, it's a you know the difference is like white people will laugh anyway. Right, right. Because they have to come will, out to have a good yeah, time. Yeah, white people will laugh. And a lot of times it's a, it's the venue too. Mm. Because like when you do a comedy club versus like just going to a bar. Right, you know what I mean? Right. Because people come to the comedy club to see comedy, so they're ready to laugh. As far as just like going to a bar, sometimes you got to fight. Even with white crowds. It's just, you know, I've been to white crowds that's uh, uh, out in Berea. We did, you know, and sometimes they, they just... You know, watching this and doing that, doing that. But it's a, you know, I I pretty much do the same thing. You know, and and, and, and sometimes it's not just the color. You got to feel the crowd too. It's a young crowd. It's an mm, old crowd. Yeah. Or you know what I mean? There's there's a lot of different things to go into. Like you really one of the best pieces of advice a uh, comedian local got my man Sean Showtime. Oh, gave, I know Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he told me, man, always come early. Like he comes like an hour early. So you can really get the feel of who's coming, who's in the crowd. That makes sense. So I always, yeah. So I always try to get there early and sit, there and you see the people coming in, kind of get the feel, like, oh, maybe you know, maybe I should tweak this, or maybe I should do this or that. You know, it gives you a good feel for who there. You know what I mean? Right, right. So yeah. Yeah, I know Sean. Yeah, that's he my guy. Man. That's my guy. He's one of the. We was we was just talking about support. You know what I mean? He's mm. one of the cats that really, like. First time I met him, he really, you know what I'm saying, came up, hey, man, you're funny, da 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 if you need anything, and he really meant it. You know, a lot of these guys be like, this, this, the third, then you hit him, it's crickets, you know what I mean? Right. But he's one of the real Gs that I met, so shout out to my man, Sean Showtime. Sean Showtime. You, uh, you know uh, Joey Zaza? Yeah, I know yeah, Joey he's funny Zaza. Too. Yeah, 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 he's a funny guy. Mm -hmm. What was the worst experience you had doing the show? Oh, man, probably... Oh, it's a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah, but it it was it had to be uh, the one at the Bobo Room, like oh, for real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we were just talking about the the one, not the one in the basement, but the one in the you the know old, uh, who, yeah, the old who, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it was wild too because I really wasn't at that point. I wasn't doing any stand up. We were shooting this. We were shooting a movie. We was doing the skits, but I wasn't doing any stand up. Right. And stand up is the type of thing where you really gotta. Keep doing it to keep your timing up. Like you know, it's a every lot of every time. couple, yeah, every week. Like you know, I try to go hit an open mic and hit a show just to you know keep your timing and everything. So at that point, I wasn't doing shout out to kind any comedy. But my man, shout out to my man Marcus Martin. He hit us up and he was like, "Hey man, you want to come do the show with us?" And I, my mind, I wanted to say no, I really did. But he was like, I'm like, nah, nah, because Marcus put money in your fucking pocket. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. So I was like, right. yeah, I did it. I went and uh, the the comedy the comedian right before me man I had this joke that I was about to do about uh 
the vaccine and non-vaccines being like bloods and crips, right? <laughs> right. And the comedian with me did the same thing, not by exactly joke, but he did that premise, and I was like, oh man, he threw my whole shit up. <laughs> so I was trying to come up, I'm like, so what I'm gonna do? And I went up there, man, and I'm telling you, it was like, people were just like, <laughs> <laughs> They were just staring at that's what I do like after I did that show it's like man. It it it, it broke me. I, mean, I ain't gonna say it broke me because but it was like man, I was I was discouraged after that, like wow, <laughs> that shit was bad. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. like but and, and I didn't do another that was like I didn't do another show to like February and that was like in December. Mm. You know what I mean? But I knew I was like, nah, I know I'm funny. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I've done enough i I've, I've done enough shows that are not. It was just even like I'm saying, even the best comedians have bad nights. You know what I mean? Like facts, sometimes facts. it's just like that. And they just stare. Like they won't boo you. They just, <laughs> you know what I mean? They just sit there and stare at you. But white people at least laugh. Right. You know. Have some sympathy yeah, for they, you. <laughs> Niggas they, have got no sympathy. They, they have no sympathy at all. They just look like this. Who is this motherfucker? You get him off the stand. You ever had to deal with a heckler? Nah, I haven't, I haven't had no hecklers. No, not really. And that's the one thing I wait, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've been waiting on like somebody to say something, you know what I mean? But I, luckily I haven't had no hecklers like heckling me. Now I've had people where like people are just talking all in the background and loud and that type of deal. Right, right. But nobody like really saying nothing smart to me. And I've seen them, you know what I mean? And I've seen them come out, <laughs> but ain't nothing ever came at me, so. I, I want to see, I know because like from outside looking in, like, the comics support each other more than like the musicians or the rappers and shit. Is that true? I, you know what? I would say probably more so than the entertainers, but it's still, you know, especially when you, you know, I don't know, like on a local, on a level, you know what I mean? You got some cats that really fuck with you mm -hmm. and you got a lot of pretenders. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. And it's it's a lot of, you know, Bill, I got a lot of a couple of comedian friends and we be joking about how these dudes be beefing. These comedians really be beefing, like, you know what I mean? It's oh, yeah. wild. Oh, man. It's Locally? Wild. Yeah. Oh, shit. It, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of cat, man. A lot of people, <laughs> you know what I mean? What, you, what I started to realize, but I just do my thing. I don't even worry about it. You know what I mean? Right, I know right. who I know who, where the love is real because you can feel it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If I got a guess, like it's, it's a few times where I would focus, I was like, is that is he serious? Is he, is he? You know, if I got to think, then I know it ain't, you know what I mean? It ain't genuine. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's it's a lot, it's far better, I would say, than the, than the uh, entertainers. But I, it's still a lot of, you know, it's still, it's still, you know, people talk about, you know, people, oh man, it's, it's crazy. I can tell you this, the comedy beefs that we didn't see, <laughs> you know, I just laugh at it, man, because I, I fuck with everybody. Do it ever you know play that? out on stage? I haven't seen it play out on stage. <laughs> I'm not on, well, I take that back. I, I take that back because it, it would be, I've seen bros, like role sessions get real intense. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Where a comedian is roasting another comedian you know, in the stands, and it gets some, you know, serious, like, when oh. the other, and he comes back, and they, mm. they going at it, you know what I'm saying, so, yeah, I, it, it gets serious, man, like, you know, these especially guys, if you fry somebody in the crowd, yeah, 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 and they want that smoke, that's why, I, you know, that's why I, I you know, I, I'll be, I don't even, I don't, roasting is not my thing, really, anyway, right. you know what I mean, but I'll be careful <laughs> about, you know, Trying to let people have, cause some people don't even come to shows and they'll tell you like, I come to your show, man, but I don't want you to roast me. Right. They'll right. tell you that like, oh man, I ain't gonna roast you, you know what I'm saying? Maybe a little bit, <laughs> but I ain't gonna. But yeah, I've seen a couple times where cats get real, real like about to get into it on yeah. stage. Yeah. My one of my worst experiences when I was uh, DJing at the LA Lounge and he was throwing his comedy shows. Okay. And where he had me at, it was like, like damn near front and center of everybody and so when the comedians will hit a joke that didn't hit they'll start frying me they yeah they go to the dj it got to the point to where he had to switch where i was djing at so they couldn't see me i said right, i can't right. keep going through this man <laughs> <laughs> every week they did when a joke go bad now they, they want to get on me <laughs> yeah 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 i've seen that too the dj get you know what i mean yeah the dj get hit up Especially if you miss keeping their intro song or something. Yeah. Oh, they gonna let yeah, you have it. Yeah, 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 no doubt. 
So you do mostly shows, because there ain't too many comedy shows, I mean comedy clubs around here. You ever did uh, Crack Pots? Yeah, I've done Crack, crack I've Pots. I've been there a couple times. I yeah, like Crack Pots. Shout out to my man up there. Uh, I can't think his name. What name was Chris? Chris. Chris, yeah. yeah. Chris been doing it a long time. I was doing, Chris was doing shows in Akron at the pharmacy. Mm. You know, he been doing shows for years, so I was rocking with him then. Till he okay. finally got his own comedy club, you know what I mean? And he, you know, him and uh, you know, he, him and uh, uh, Pete, they be going at it like Suge and, and Puffy. <laughs> you know, Pete runs the funny stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, bro, they be going at it. I'm just telling you. I be seeing them on, I be seeing them on so Facebook. The two, so the two comedy clubs. Be, yeah, they go tension. at it. It's, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, he he he, po he posted one time like, if you want to come, if you want to come to a show where there's actually people in the seat, <laughs> I was like, damn. Oh, that's sure a shot. Or not, hey, that's sure a shot. Not. You don't want nobody dancing all these videos, <laughs> <laughs> but it's wild, man. It, yeah, these cats be going at it. That's crazy. Yeah, I kind of figured out um, because that's the only comedy club around here. Yeah, that one in Maslin and then the Funny Stop in Kaya Harbor Falls. That's right there, and uh, yeah, them the only two like club clubs, you know what I mean? But you you have a lot of people that throw sh spots in the bars, and depending on how the bar is set up, it can work, you know what I mean? Right. It can work, but the thing about the comedy clubs is you have the bar usually outside of the club, so you go to the bar, then you come in and you sit down and you just doing comedy. I'm paying attention, right? right. Where it's like you have a lot of bars where the people are sitting at the bar. That ain't even knowing nothing is a, is a comedy show. They just coming to the bar. Right, right. So you right. have like maybe a group that's not, not really paying attention. So if you can get them, you know what I'm saying, you good. Who are some of the comics you respect locally? Oh, man, all of it, man. Everybody really, you know, because I, I, I hate to shout names out and forget some people. Right, right. But, uh, man, everybody that get up there, bro, I respect it. You know what I mean? And that's what I tell people that. Because people hit me up all the time. Like, man, I, I've been thinking about doing it. I want to do it. I just say, man, just come to a show. If you come, like, come to an open mic. Just go. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And then you just see, you know, everybody. Even the people that's not funny or that's, you know, that bomb or whatever. Just the fact that you get up there. I respect the curve. Yeah. 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 I respect it. But, yeah, there's a lot of cats, man. Uh, in the local, up in Akron, Cleveland, you know, guys in Columbus that I done met. That's, you know, that's one of the best things about the networking part when you get to really meet people that's really genuine and shit and that's really, you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. Trying to help yeah. each other out yeah. and network. And yeah. All that. And, and yeah, and it's dope. Like, you know, I'm, it's a nice little pipeline, man, of comedians that really rock, I rock with to rock with me. So, you know, shout out to them. They know who they is. I, like, I don't want to forget nobody. But, yeah, they know who they is. Right. So you got you said you got a show coming up. Yeah, uh October fifteenth with my man Ray Adams, man. Ray Mel is a uh, comedian, a local uh uh filmmaker and we just done two movies with him. Oh for real? Yeah, he's he's really dope brother, man, and we got some more stuff coming, some skits with him. Uh, him at R and A Productions, you know, you can see his stuff on YouTube, on Amazon Prime mm. and um he, he he's putting the show together October fifteenth. Let me see where is that the G F GFM Hall, 3736 East 71st Street, Cleveland, Ohio. That is the hood. <laughs> so don't be scared. You know what I mean? Come on out. Have a good time with us, man. Me, myself, Queen Petty. That's my wife. You know what I mean? And uh, uh, my man, uh, I can't think of, see, I can't think of people's name. My man, uh, what's his name? That was in the movie with us. Uh, it'll come to me, but uh, he's in it. And another comedian I haven't seen yet, man. But it's gonna be a funny show. Oh it's gonna yeah, be a, yeah, it's gonna be a good show. I definitely gotta check that out. Where can people uh, reach you at on social media? Uh, I'm my uh, Instagram is daglamont.comedy. If you go on my Instagram, you can find all my other social media. So I'm start sending people to my Instagram, and then you can find my TikTok and YouTube and all that. We got some real funny skits on there, man. Real good material. But I do say so myself. And, uh, yeah, so uh, Facebook is Derek Lamont Williams the first. But, like I said, you go on my Instagram, you can find all that. That's what's up. Okay, before we go, who who you consider the GOAT of comedy? Oh, man, that, that's always a tough one. The GOAT. It's Eddie Murphy. And Eddie we Murphy? talk about Yeah, Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy is, it got to be the funniest dude ever, man. Over Richard like, Pryor? Yeah, definitely. Okay. I love, Eddie, to me, it's like Richard Pryor was like Dr. J. 
Mm. You know, Eddie Murphy was like Jordan. I you like know what that. I mean? I like that. Like Richard Pryor set the tone for it, but Eddie Murphy took it and, and took it just to another it. whole level, man. That's and just right. everything he's done with just the stand up. Like I got to put it all in in one thing with the stand up, the movies. Like you just, I've seen interviews with Eddie Murphy. He had you just, he just, you know, you hear people just say, man, if you ever around them. It's over with because you're just going to be laughing the whole time. I believe like, that. So I believe Eddie, it too. Eddie like when you see him, man, he's a funny guy. So yeah, he's definitely the GOAT to me. You know what I mean? Who do you think is runner up next to Eddie? It, man, it's hard, man. It's like when people ask me, like, you know, I'm a Wu Tang fan, right? So people ask me who my favorite member is, and I always say whoever I'm listening to at that time. Mm. You know what I mean? So mm. I got I, like I, I use the same thing because I love, I love Chappelle. I love Chris Rock. I love uh, Patrice O'Neill. Rest, rest. So you know, it's so many cats that I, you know, man, that I think is so funny. It's like who I, whoever I'm watching at that time. It's like, man, this dude is the funniest of all time. Right. I'm gonna tell you one of my definitely favorites is my man John Witherspoon. Yeah, pops. Yeah. Oh man, dude, yeah. he had the funniest. I seen him at the Improv, and this dude had me laugh so hard. <laughs> I couldn't take it. Like I never laughed. I well, never bro. laughed that hard before, bro, at a comedy show. Mm. Like it was to the point where I had to put my fingers in my ears because my head was hurt, my stomach was hurt, and it was just nonstop. I was like, man, cut it out. I, I can't, you know, I can't hear no more. It's just cut right. It. He uh, and man, the, the roles he did on on uh, 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 Boondocks and. Oh, yeah, Boomerang and Friday, like classic joints, man. Shout out to John Weatherspoon. He's Legend. definitely top five, man. Gotta be. He's a funny guy. One last question. You think Kevin Hart underrated or overrated? I give Kevin Hart, man, a lot of credit for his hustle. You know what I mean? Like to get where he is. And, and, and you know, it's like with anybody. Like, so I think Kevin Hart is funny sometimes. Me too. You know I what I mean? Like sometimes. It's funny sometimes. Like, I'm, I would never say, to me, and I'll say this, like, a, if a comedian says another comedian ain't funny, it's hating to me. Because mm. if you know what goes into it, you know that some days you might not be as funny. Some right. crowds you might not rock. Like, sometimes, I saw Charlie Murphy when he first started doing stand-up. Mm. Charlie Murphy was not funny. Right. I saw Charlie Murphy maybe a year or two later, he had me dying. You know what I mean? Mm. So is it so like even the unfunniest com comedies have made me laugh. Right, you know what I mean? Right, like right. I they get a laugh out of you. So, but I like I like Kevin Hart. You know what I mean? He's not. I ain't gonna say he. Oh, I'm I'm a big Kevin Hart fan. But I fuck with Kevin Hart. You know what I mean? I That's rock with him. But to Buddy Z, I don't know. I mean, I would say he's overrated. If we have to, if we I talk think so about, too. I was gonna say he's overrated, but at the same time, you know, he he he's he's put that work in, man. And that's and people, that's the part of it that you can be he funny. Be you can be in. funny all you want to, but it's a grind. You got to get out of here. You got to be doing this. You got to do shows. You got to and for him to get where he at, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, man, I salute him, man. He's, that's, he's that's a dope true. brother. That's yeah. true. All right, well, I thank you for coming to sitting down. Oh, man, I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, you know hell yeah. Y'all tap in, man. Bars and chains, you know what I'm saying? My mm. man, Riz Nice. That's what's up. Hell yeah. yeah. It's appreciated, man. Yep, we're going to sign off.